<laughs> my bad. Just a couple quick questions. One, for Lucky. Um, Thank you for knowing my name. If, if Dr. Krieger's not a medical doctor and it's not the other kind, just what kind of doctor is he? <laughs> he's, a, he's a man willing to cut open bodies and fix them and make them bionic. It's more than I can do. And I'm no doctor. But if I could take a crippled dude and make him bionic, I deserve the title doc. Right? Yeah. Uh, just one last question, uh, actually about the show, and anybody who actually works on it, feel free to answer this, but um, is there anybody that, I mean, you've obviously had Burt Reynolds, and I've heard yesterday that y'all had Anthony Bourdain on an episode. Is there anybody you wish you get, like maybe like Charlie Day, or anybody else that you really, really want to get on the show? Tom Hanks. <laughs> I want Tom Hanks to be that drone that you see. Every time we push into an exterior of ISIS, you'll see a drone standing on a street corner aimlessly. I want Tom Hanks to be that drone. <laughs> I just, I know some of you are really good at the internet, so just get on your internet and let's make Tom Hanks a part of this show. Okay? <laughs> You know what? You know what I would want. It, you know what I would want out of that meal is that to go the opposite direction, where Tom no. is is a is a, a male prostitute dressed like a cowboy, like a night cowboy, whose name was Woody. So he was a cowboy male prostitute. Hey Neil. Woody. Name Woody. According to the internet, and you have Woody to send Shutter. Tom Hanks a typewriter to get him oh. to respond. <laughs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> Brian, would you like to say something into the microphone? No, into the microphone, Brian. <laughs> Not yet, thank you. Stacy, do you have a get? Do you have, do you have somebody that you would love to get on the show? I know you do, because you just tweeted about it. Oh, yeah, I did. Thank you. You're we have had... Um, uh, the person who played Seth Bullock. I, I, I really like Deadwood. So we had uh, Timothy Olyphant, who was Seth Bullock. Yay! We had um, uh, Dayton Colley, who was Charlie Utter. Right. We Yay. had Paul Malcolmson, who was Trixie. Yep. So I think now all we need is uh, the actor who played Al Swearingen. Ian McShane. Ian McShane, and then we have the full Deadwood. Except I would want the guy who plays Wu. The Chinese guy whose pigs ate all the dead people. When they would murder a person, they would take him to Wu's pigs and feed them to them. And Chad, you have Boondock Saints. Yes! What about John Hamm? I don't know anything about that. We don't know nothing about that. Do you have, do you have somebody you would like to appear to have appear on the show, Amber? No. no. <laughs> I think we're fine where we're at. <laughs> Yeah. You're welcome. Next question. Hey, uh, I wanted to give this guy, because he knew Amber's name, a poster. Oh, oh you get a poster! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I didn't know there was going to be prizes. A season three poster. Now, now this is going to sound creepy, but I know a little more about Amber than her name. Um, oh, that man's fist has been in my butthole. <laughs> uh, I actually found out about Archer through your work as Hooker on Frisky Dingo. Yeah. And I found out about your work there through Dad's Garage and Push Push Theater. I used to come every Wednesday to see you. Yes. Do you actually still do that? I haven't been there in quite a while. Yeah, actually, I don't do stuff at Push Push anymore. Oh, you don't? Um, do you do other improv? Uh, yeah, we do stuff at Dad's Garage. Lucky and I actually um, have a, a show called The Morning Show that is Friday nights at 10.30 p.m. Um, and it's running for like another month, and we do tons of stuff at Dad's. Lucky and I are there almost every weekend. And it's in Little Five Ooh, Points for those of you that haven't been there. Dad's Garage. Oh, it's an excellent ah! place. Great. Check this Next shit. Friday, the 15th of March, Adam Reed is going to be our guest on the show. So buy your tickets now because it's going to sell out. Momocon couldn't get them, but we could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a 
two other questions. One sort of plays off of that first one is I've noticed there's a lot of similarities between Frisky Dingo and Archer. There's a lot of like leftover, well not leftover, but carried over jokes. And I'm wondering how much I don't know, cross pollination is there between the writing and the voice acting team between those two shows, and how much do you guys, I don't know, draw from the first one? Casey Willis, go. <laughs> I guess it, it would be a ton because Adam Reed is the sole writer of both of those series, and uh, Amber and Lucky. Lucky was an ex voice of an exticle. Yep. Uh, I actually did know that. And Neil. Uh, was a voice, and also Neil is the voice of Brett, the guy who always gets yeah. shot. <laughs> you guys want to hear me scream really loudly? And I get royalties. That's how red he looks every day I work. Nickel every time he does it. <laughs> and also, uh, we all worked on Frisky Dingo as well. So, uh, and I believe, maybe, it, w it wasn't supposed to happen, but there might have been some hand files that were used in Frisky Dingo and also showed up in Archer okay. this first season. So the pilot of Archer was produced by nine people, 11 people around there. Um, so, and we also didn't really believe that the pilot was ever going to see the light of day. So we uh, maybe reused a lot of files uh, from our previous work experience. I was just like, oh yeah, no, we, well, we have hands and we have animation techniques from the previous series. So there's a lot of carryover from that. And then the first season was a lot of, oh God, we have to stop this. What do we do in the pilot? We have to really go backward. Just so. to clarify, it wasn't the exact same files. No, they were just taken and redrawn over exactly the same. <laughs> because it I believe Cartoon Network owned those other files. So Did just I just open up to a lawsuit? No, we didn't do anything like that. Uh, Neil, I have a question. So yes. it, um, it, 11 people made the pilot in a I regular think. episode. Now, how many people does it take to make an episode? Oh, uh, like 70. Yeah. 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 Just, Seventy, but the pilot took four months, and we make an average episode in about eleven weeks now. So uh, it, it works out. We we move really really quickly. <laughs> We're awesome. Uh, I somehow bogged down in the hand files and blah blah blah. The next question! <laughs> this one's just real short and I'll get out of your hair. Sorry. This one's for Lucky. Um, I'm actually the other part, the guy who's. This is a didn't question. No, you're not. Yo, I know. I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm actually the other part of that Fisto Roboto costume. I'm considering playing the robot, him, her, itself. And I have a really simple question. What sort of lube would Fisto Roboto prefer? I'm, I'm assuming. Well, I'm assuming. I'm assuming whatever it's silicone. Whatever they, whatever they use to shove their fists up horses' asses, <laughs> I assume. I'm assuming it's silicone based, but I can also see 10W40. Uh, I, I want to be as accurate as possible. With Here's my the fisting. thing I'm not an actual scientist. <laughs> so but are you an I actual do not, I have no idea, but I would say lube it well. I, don't, I well. have to think WD40 would be a very dangerous thing to <laughs> shove up your butthole. No, no, it's okay. When <laughs> Thank you. She well, Amber, this, this goes back to Amber Ash. What, what would you lube up Fister Roboto with, Assy? Saliva? Oh, so... Sorry, right, guys, I'm not so, usually this disgusting. I really what? don't know about fisting. I don't know anything about fisting. Like, from a whale? Like, whale this? No, just spit on it. It'll be fun. Amber funny. Gross. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Man, get that up there now. Oh, here, here's a Krieger Army sticker for knowing my name, too. You, you're a big winner. I also, I brought enough for everybody, so don't get all freaked out. Next butthole question. I don't have one, I promise I don't have one. Right. Sorry, right, back in the line. <laughs> hey, you don't have a butthole? I mean, what? No, actually, I am a huge fan of Sea Lab, and I like the whole crossovers between Frisky Dingo and Archer, and, and you mentioned Sea Lab earlier. This came up in a group discussion of some of my friends and I last night. When is MC Chris coming on the show? <laughs> you know, that guy... Casey Willis, go. No. <laughs> that, that guy won't even direct message tweet me back. Really? <laughs> and I, like, bought that dude, like, four inhalers when he used to live in Atlanta, so... I don't know, man. I don't, he doesn't call me. Does he call you guys? No. 
No, <laughs> he's, he's, okay, he's disappeared he's into the ether. Yeah, he's a good friend of, yeah, a good friend the, of ours. I think the fandom needs to get on that if it, if it matters as much to them as it does to me. If you like Nerdcore, I mean, that's definitely the guy. Yeah, I mean, casting is a Casey question, so what? what I don't know. What kind of, what would he play? Can the fandom then? do something to make this happen? I wonder. If, Some, we, if we worked on it, like, would He's a good dude. If the, the right part arises, then we'll bring him on. Exactly. Uh, it's sort of... You don't want to overplay that card, so we're just sort of waiting for that part. If the right part arises, then that'll happen. 